Ladies, gentlemen, children, monkeys of all ages, welcome back to the circus and welcome to another, whew, another quick review. This is another one I gotta get through quick. This is another knife I have had for way too long that just kept getting shuffled around because I had so many knives coming through there for a minute and brother dave satu dave if you don't follow him his link is usually down in the description it will definitely be down there for this one so check him out this in case you don't recognize it is a dpx hest urban now i had seen these these new if you can find them these things ran around $375. I haven't looked to see if these are still available or not. Um, this is an all-American made. If you if you don't know Satu Dave, almost everything he has is pretty much American made. Full-blown titanium, thick old blades, hard-working knives. So yes, this is 100% American made. The titanium is American made. The bearings are American made. The steel's American made. All of it. You want something that's made in the USA? This is it. This is one of them anyway. Um, and at the end of the day, this is damn near a fifth pocket knife. This is a really small knife for, for Brother Dave. Uh, if you know if you know Satu Dave, you know the Satu, a big old knife. Um, that is his that is that is kind of his defining knife, and it's a big one. Um, this is fairly small, even for me. I mean, you know, that's about three and a half finger, three finger knife. If we're being realistic, three finger knife um, that is just is built for work, man. Um, this is like a handyman's knife. Uh, check out the lanyard hole there. Yeah, that's a built-in hex driver for quarter-inch hex drives. Um, this thing uh, functions as a bottle opener, as well as kind of like an Emerson Wave. I didn't get it to work terribly well personally, but I've seen other people use it as a deployment option. Um, and then the jimping is actually wire strippers for three different gauges of wire. Yeah, so this is literally a knife made for somebody like a handyman. Somebody who's going to use all of those features. Um, I'm not sure that those are features Dave himself necessarily uses, but I'm willing to bet he's used a couple of them. Uh, at the end of the day... This one's missing a little bit of its tip, so I know it's gotten some love, and I don't know if this is the original profile of that blade tip or not, or if Dave's reprofiled it for some reason. But uh, it's a very cool blade profile. Almost a little bit of that parang feel. We know I love that. But, um, yeah, just full-scale titanium. There is a little bit of detent lash there. You know, so it's not perfect. I mean, we're going to talk about it. Uh, I'm not going to glaze over things I think are wrong. Um, but yeah, this I'm sure this thing has been just used quite a bit by Dave and anybody he's loaned it out to. Because he, tell, he told me anyway, use it. So I have. I've used this in the garden. We have uh, taken out plants. We've cut down, uh, you know, cut down some, some big old pepper plants, uh, taken them out. Um, we have harvested uh, harvested the herbs and stuff out of the garden, so cutting through time and stuff, which is a bit of a woody mess. Um, this thing didn't blink, man. Come on. Um, it is CPMS 35VN. It is a medium high flat grind stone wash thumb stud deployment, along with that kind of quasi Emerson sort of thing. <laughs> that detent lash drives me a little bit nuts. I'm not going to lie. Um, and there is uh, there's a bit of pivot slop there. Uh, 
but you see that I don't know if it's titanium or aluminum on the backspacer here but you can see the uh, serial number there you see it has a glass breaker and this is one of the I love the way they do this this style of pocket clip where you can basically just take it and flip it around so it's right or left tip up only um, great thumb studs perfect thumb smooth just one crenellation in there um, so nothing eating away at your thumbs that allows it to be a little bit more fidgety than sometimes they would be but uh, yeah, I mean at four. Let me let me pull up my stats right quick. Pretty sure it was four and a quarter. Yeah, four and a quarter ounces. Um, you have a sub three inch blade at two point nine inches, and uh, pretty much all of that is not quite cutting edge. Probably about two and three quarter inch is cutting edge, and yeah, it's right there. Two and three quarter inch cutting edge, two point nine inch blade. Uh, 6.7 inch overall length uh, blade thickness this is a beast at 0 0.16 inches so 16 hundredths of an inch I think that works out to don't quote me on this but not quite four millimeters 3.9 something um, math brain doesn't work right most of the time those are full thickness 6a 1,4 V, whatever the hell, titanium. So uh, six series titanium, um, full thickness scales. There is no milling in there whatsoever. But at four and a quarter ounces, it's not. Uh, it's not going to yank your britches down. This thing just really, um, just really wants to work. But. Uh, Let's get that out of here and get on with some comparisons. Just for size comparisons, uh, nothing I have in my in my collection even remotely compares to this thing. Otherwise, and even then, the Steel Wheel Mini Lanner is uh, quite a bit longer now that it's open. Closed, they were relatively similar, but the short blade on this one... Um, and you know it's one of my personal favorites the Kaiser original almost exactly the same length so uh, I don't remember I think the lanner was around fifty dollars when you could get it uh, this is about an eighty four dollar knife when it came out the Kaiser drop bear is probably going to be longer now that it's open yeah it is and 75 here and uh, I don't think any two knives that I've shown you right here could could stand up and do the work of, of that one so if you're one of you those uh, use your kind of people uh, this is definitely a knife you should check out this is a knife that is made to be used. Um, and if you abuse your knives, it's one that is probably going to stand up to it. I don't abuse my knives. I'm definitely not going to abuse Brother Dave's knife. Um, so uh, if this were my first experience with DPX Hest, which it is, what would I think? Um, I think DPX gear just absolutely makes a bomb proof knife man this thing uh, I, like I said this thing feels like it's made to take a beating and uh, in the end of everything it is set up as a handyman's knife so it is literally made for work that hardened steel interface um, just everything about it is just overbuilt, over-engineered, and that's uh, I'm I can guarantee that. that's why why Dave liked this knife. Uh, I appreciate you sending this one to me, brother Dave. Uh, this one surprised me. Um, I did not know this knife was coming with the other one that he sent, and uh, this has uh, this has been a real joy to get to know this one, Dave. So. Uh, 
I'm going to be sending this one back to you here and uh, get that out to you soon, along with some other things I need to get out. But that's really about all I've got for you on this one, guys. This one was a much-loved loner from Satu Dave, American Made Badass, right here. This thing, uh, this thing will... Uh, this thing will do some work. So for a small knife, this thing will definitely outpunch its weight. But that's it for now. So until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. This is Grumpy, and I'm out.